<clears throat> Public safety, police and fire, make up a large portion of the city budget. How do you feel about the staffing levels and resources available to these departments as they now stand? I've been very clear with the with the fire department. The the staffing levels versus call volume in the fire department cannot be justified. All right, For the fact that we have fourteen guys always on in the fire department, no matter what time of day, and they have at best four thousand calls. Now, let's say at nighttime, for example, the police have five guys on the streets and maybe two in the in the police house. But five guys are usually pretty consistent, five to six are on the streets, and they have over 20,000 calls. You see, the police department, and I've had conversations, just as I had conversations with Chief Dyer, I have conversations with Chief, uh, Chief Nagel, and he understands the political situation, not only the political situation, but he also understands the economic situation. He knows that this coming budget, there's probably going to be about four, four retirements. All right, more than likely, we probably won't be able to fill those four positions. It, we'll have to see more closely when it comes to budget time. But see, this is, the, this is why I have no problem with the staff in the, the police department. Those guys, when they're working at night, they're working. They're in their cars driving around. They're not sleeping. They're not, they're not uh, in, 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 the fire, in the police station just sitting around. They're on the streets working. You look at, just look at, I, every week we get uh, reports on the activity of the police department. Greg, it would blow your mind what these guys are dealing with. From drug arrest, burglaries, as you recently saw in the newspaper, burglaries, the amount of level three sex offenders that the city has. It, you, domestic, let's look at domestic calls alone. I think last year we had 2,000 domestic calls, just last year. 2,000, just in domestic calls. Now, a domestic call is usually going to take about two police officers. So you have three covering the city. So the, 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 the manning level of the police department is usually determined by what you have in the city, the culture, the character of the city. Auburn's becoming a more violent city. It's much more violent than it was when I was growing up in Auburn. We have a prison within our city. When there's an increase in poverty, like we're seeing today, and the statistics will show you this, increase in poverty, you have an increase in crime. So that's, that's how I can justify the police department. Now, wait a minute. The police department has gone through changes. We, 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 we uh, cut the assistant police chief. Again, many said that you're going to make the city unsafe by doing that. Not true. Chief Nagel's made it work. He's restructured that police department. Where now everyone has a purpose, everyone has a function, a clear purpose, a clear function within that department. You look at the SRO issue recently, about having the SRO go to the football games and controversial issue. Chief Nagel said, listen, we can send you police officers, but instead of, instead of sending the SROs, which may cost you $1,200, let's send regular police officers, which will cost $400. All right, so he's, he's willing to evolve the police chief, uh, willing to evolve with the economic situation that we're facing. Greg, we tried to do this with the fire department. All right, the concessions, there were hardly no concessions. The fact that in Ms. McCormick said that there was $600,000 in concessions, that's so untrue. Talk to the city manager, he'll tell you the same thing. And, and what they were asking, percentage-wise for pay increases, it, it, it blow you away. 6%, 3%, 3% for the first three years. Are you serious 6% in this type of economy? It, it, it's not that I have the vendetta against the fire department. I've had, I've had to call the fire department twice within the last year and a half. All right, I have young children. I have older parents. All right, I want a safe community. Now, do I want an all-volunteer fire department? No. Do, do I think we need our current structure of fire department? No, I've been clear on that. We need to find that middle ground. We have a fire chief who has, as far as his ability to know the fire department and run the day-to-day -day business, his credentials are impeccable. All right, he has that ability. But the will, there needs to be a will by council and the fire department to say, look, we're going to change because the city cannot afford what we currently have.